One of the most popular procedures that we see is the male chest reduction, otherwise known as gynecomastia, feminization of the male breast. It's a very common occurrence. It happens anywhere from age 14 all the way up to age 84. All male breasts have a certain amount of fatty tissue as well as glandular tissue. In some people, the glandular tissue becomes hypertrophic or in excess, and the male breast gets a flabby, fatty appearance. We do specialize in, in the male chest reduction. I've been doing it for many years. I was uh, one of the first people to actually both remove the fatty tissue via liposuction as well as attack the glandular tissue uh, with the ultrasonic and later on with the laser. When a patient comes in for a consultation for male chest reduction, I examine them. I'm able to detect the amount of fatty tissue and the amount of glandular tissue that they have and what procedure would be necessary. If I can achieve what I'm looking for with the liposuction alone, then we do so. This involves minimal scarring, minimal downtime. Most of the time, the patients are back to work within 24 hours. If I detect a substantial amount of glandular tissue, which I know will not be able to be liposuctioned, then I recommend the small incision under the nipple and areola to remove the glandular tissue with a laser. The procedure is done in about an hour and a half. It is quick and there's very little discomfort after. I usually take the area of the chest for four or five days and the patients are back to work or school very quickly. The downtime with this may add another day or two, but it's certainly this seems to give the best results without the uh, recurrence that you sometimes see if you only do a liposuction. It's very difficult to liposuction glandular tissue and without that small incision occasionally that I have to do, patients will not be fully satisfied. That small incision gives them the extra bit that they need to have a natural, flatter looking chest, and most of the time to have the pectoralis or the pecs show through the skin, which is what most men are trying to achieve.